when we're trying to talk about treatment of FOP, um, before what we used to talk about a lot is do no harm because we didn't have any um, approved treatment for FOP. The way we used to manage FOP was really more symptomatic management where we would tell patients, try to avoid any trauma, uh, avoid any intramuscular vaccinations, uh, avoiding any surgeries uh, and definitely no biopsies, which unfortunately a lot of our patients undergo a biopsy before the correct diagnosis of FOP is made. So one treatment option was really to, to do no harm. Uh, the second one, we would give uh, glucocorticoids uh, like prednisone at the time of a flare-up to decrease the pain and swelling that happens with these flare-ups. And then we also sometimes use non-steroidals uh, also for symptomatic management and as, as anti-inflammatory agents. So with palivaritine, which is a select, selective retinoic acid receptor gamma agonist, um, it's a retinoid uh, which can prevent the uh, chondrocytes from turning into bone. So the pathogenesis, the rationale for using palivaritine and FOP is that we know that the extra bone formation goes through this endochondrial bone formation. So the prevention of uh, cartilage from forming can prevent this extra bone formation from happening. We don't anticipate and we did not see that palivaritine can decrease the rate of flare-ups or the soft tissue swelling just because of the, the mechanism of how this medication works. It seems to be more downstream uh, to the receptor.